Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Now, this is a um, bit, bit interesting. Obviously I haven't been posting, I haven't uploaded any videos since, I mean it's been like four four months since I last uploaded a video. My FM saved, uh, I think five months for my career mode. Now, that is just because I just lost interest in playing career mode. I, I wasn't enjoying it as much. Um, and I, I kind of just took a step away, focused on work. Uh, but now, uh, as we're in this lockdown, I have a lot of free time, and you know, I kind of it's kind of got to me now where I just kind of feel like I've wasted or like I'm throwing away what I've created on the channel in terms of the subscribers, the views, and the um, Twitch streams as well. So, without further ado, this is just going to be a little tester episode to see if people still want to watch my content. I know there's a few people out there that still want to and want me to make videos. Um, so, for all the new people that might come across this video, welcome to the channel. Uh, obviously, I post career mode videos. I haven't posted in a long time. This series is going to be like a comeback series with Newcastle. Uh, and I am going to activate a financial takeover because in real life, as you may know, if you're a Newcastle fan or if you follow football, that Newcastle are pretty much nearly done with their takeover for like, I think it's some like uh, Saudi Arabian prince or something he's worth like one point the family is worth like 1.3 trillion dollars or something like that so this is what we're going to be doing we're going to test it out uh for now the, the financial takeover actually hasn't come through it takes a couple of days in the save to uh, get up to so we're just going to sim the matches um what we'll do we'll go through the squad hub after uh to like sell the players we're going to keep because realistically we're probably going to get a load of money and bring in a load of players which you know, it's probably going to be a bit unrealistic in terms of the transfers, but I think that will make it a bit fun uh, for the first series back. And then we'll see how far we get into it. If you guys enjoy it, I'll carry it on. If not, then we'll see what happens. Anyway, leave a like. If you do go to enjoy the video or you enjoy the series idea, uh, comment your transfer suggestions down below. Obviously, we're going to wait for the next few days in the save to actually see how much money we've we're gonna get because at the moment we've only got oh wow we've got 92 million so that is i don't know if that's the takeover done yet or not because i haven't had an email yet i'm pretty sure you get an email but anyway um comment your transfer suggestions down below if it is uh the 92 million then obviously we've got quite a lot to spend um obviously the aim is probably to get get in the top four get champions league and then challenge for that and the title in the following season but anyway without further ado let's get on with the episode Right guys, as you can see here, we're at the squad hub menu. Now, there's a lot of players in this squad, which I think are probably not going to actually play for us. So, we're going to go through now. I'm just going to keep the keepers for now. I don't feel like there's really any need to like get rid of Elliot, for example. He's never going to play. Um, the left backs are fine for now. Obviously, Danny Rose recently joined in January on loan. Uh, this guy is going to get added to the list. I don't know who he is. Not really my cup of tea. Uh, in terms of the centre-backs now, I'm going to wait until we sign someone before I let either Clark or maybe Fernandez go. I'm going to wait until we sign someone new. Uh, in terms of the right-backs, we've got these three and then these ones can all just go. Actually, no, he can stay because he's a new signing, I'm pretty sure, but this guy can go. Uh, actually, do we get rid of Manky? Oh, no, no, we'll keep these We'll keep these guys. Hayden will keep. Colback, I mean, I'm going to get rid of Colback. Uh, Atsu... Maximin, yeah, they're fine. Bentele, Matty Longstaff, yep. Uh, I'm going to get rid of... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how you pronounce that name. going to get rid of him. And then we're going to get rid of Dwight Gale and uh, Muto as well. Just because I don't feel like they're worth a squad, especially with this money that's coming. Um, so what we're going to do is quickly just check out the expectations. So FA Cup, round of 16, finish, finish mid-table in the Prem. And then we've got to do a bit of youth work as well. Um, so, I mean, to be fair, there's not that much. It's not actually that bad. Um, it's quite a reasonable objective. So here's the team which I've got at the moment. I haven't actually done anything with it. I kind of want to rock this 5 4 1 formation just to see. You know, you get everyone using the same, like 4 2 3 1, for example. I just want to kind of mix it up and use a different formation. Uh, obviously, this is what we're going to rock with for now until we sign some players. But I'm going to wait until you guys comment suggestions down below before I start signing people and putting people on my shortlist. Um, again, these people, I'm not even going to look at anything uh, until 
you guys suggest stuff because obviously I want it to be very interactive. I want you guys to have your suggestions added to the squad if possible. So what we're going to do now, we're going to simulate through the preseason tournament uh, and then that will probably wrap it up for the episode. Just a nice quick uh, introduction episode and then we can start cracking on with the Premier League season and also st uh, start doing some signings. So without further ado, we'll jump into this first game against Ibar or Ibar. Uh, Simulating all the games, obviously, because who plays the preseason games? 2 1 win, Maximin and Yolinton getting the goals. The cell gets injured, though, which is not good to see. I don't know if that's going to be a bad injury or an injury he can just, um, you know, he can just uh, walk it off after a few days. Let's see what's this. Okay, okay, that's fine. He wants to leave. A bit surprised. Oh. Can't guarantee you play time. Being honest, I can't. Lascelles is only out for three days, so that's actually not too bad. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the next game. Uh, I'm just going to simulate up to these games, I guess. Uh, Hayden, transfer offer. I don't think I'm going to sell him. I think I'm just going to keep him, to be honest. I don't. I, I think he's he's going to be an alright player for us. Not sure he'll, if he'll still start for us in every game. Um, but, yeah. Okay, this guy, yeah, I'm just getting rid of him. Mankilo... Definitely going to reject that one because uh, I think he'll he'll play a part. I think <laughs> I'm not too sure to be fair. He'll probably be in like a squad rotational side uh, if like FA Cup and uh, Carabao Cup. Two two draw against Herfa. That's not too bad actually. Almiron and Fernandez getting the goals. Again, it's actually quite a positive result. Uh, we play our last game or last group game against Montpellier. Um, hopefully we can get a point at least or win this game to go through. And the score was 1-0, Shelby getting the goal. So that means we're through. Top the group as well. So I don't know who we're going to be playing. Uh, Orsberg is the next one. Uh, Sivet. Uh, is it Sivet? I don't know how you pronounce that. We're going to let him go. 1.7 million, uh, which is good. We've got 1.1 million for getting out of the groups. Again, it's just more extra money to the, to the club. Um, I'm not sure what it tells you. Okay, they've broken down uh, Steries or Steries. I can't remember how to pronounce that. Uh, transfer talks are broken down. Transfer offer for Gale, 6.2. How much is he worth? 6 million, right. I mean, I'll just let him go to Porto, to be honest. Uh, Semi-final time. Again, I mean, if we can get through, we get through. If we don't, we don't. Let's see. 2-0 win. Your Linton and Shelby getting the goals. Both players scoring goals in preseason tournament, which is nice to see. Transfer talks broken down. We get an extra 2.7 million, so we're getting close to that... Um, uh, 100 million mark, I do believe. Um, anyway, so another offer for this right back. Again, I'm just going to accept all of them. Uh, Mankilo, again, I'm going to just hold off. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to sell Mankilo. I don't know if he's if he really features much for Newcastle, to be honest, but we're just going to go with it. Last game against Getafe in the final, and we win 4 3 on penalties. Your Linton getting two goals in that game, which means. I do believe we get an additional 7 million in the bank. So let's see. Dwight Gale has left. Colback has got an offer. I'm just going to let him go for that, to be honest. Uh, tournament money, we got 3.1 million added. And I'm pretty sure it said 7 million overall. I don't know if that's across the whole thing if you get to that final stage. Uh, anyway, we're going to go check now. So up to 104 million, guys. That is a lot of money. Um, so obviously the next let's see the calendar for now calendar so we've got a few weeks until our first game against arsenal uh which we will obviously get up to in the next episode um but for now this is going to be the end of the episode because i'm going to wait for you guys to suggest me players in the comment section uh obviously any suggestions appreciated if whether they're old but they're good now rating wise or they're young uh, future prospect Obviously, we're going to try and get the best team possible as soon as possible. So, please let me know down below in the comment section. Again, thank you for the support if you have made it to the end of the video. And thank you guys for the support um, overall for me coming back. If, uh, whether it's a like, comment or subscribing if you're new. And like I said, let's see if we can get some decent signings in for the next episode. Make sure you comment down below the suggestions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.